What's up, everybody? It's Gun Nut 1980 here with another gun review. Today, we're going to talk about this gun right here. This is the Maverick Model 88 12 gauge shotgun by Mossberg. Okay, let's check the chamber. I'm doing this with one handed here chamber is empty as you can see up here there's nothing there but for the sake of things I'll just rack it anyway excuse me empty as you can see So safety. This is the Maverick 88 shotgun. This is the inexpensive version to the Mossberg 500. Mine's came with a uh, pistol grip on it, but I went ahead and changed it out for a Knox Spec Ops grip. Um, pistol grip stock um, doesn't add much weight so it feels good I haven't even shot it yet with this on it but I'm assuming um, it'll help with the recoil but even when I was shooting it with the um, pistol grip still wasn't much recoil with the magnum buckshot a lot of people say this 12 gauge had a lot of recoil and to me I, I don't really feel it that much um, I, and also I was shooting um, uh, Remington low reduced recoil loads. Those are really good. Those are really good loads. Um, what else about the gun? I want to say, yeah, I bought this brand new um, 200 bucks out of uh, the local gun shop. Um, that's how much they run. Sometimes we find them cheaper. Uh, these are, these, these are um, people call them knockoff uh, Mossberg 500, but they're not knockoffs. They're made, they're made by Mossberg. Okay, so this how's it a knockoff? Uh, the handguard, but you can, it's, it's it's a few quality differences in it. Handguard's a little shaky. It's a little bit more stable on the Mossberg. Not a big deal. Um, I changed out the sight here. Um, it was it was a bead sight, but I changed it to a. I got a high vis. It was a bitch to get on there too. It was a high vis. Uh, nice, supposedly nice. It's not really a nice sight. Cause I tested it. It's just a. So it's a red dot. So uh, I like it better. I quiet the target better. Um, this shotgun is um, it holds five plus one, uh, two two point seventy five inch shells and four plus one three and a half inch uh, shells. It's a smooth bore. It's not right for bore. Safety is just like on a uh, Remington eight um, seventy. Right here is the safety. Uh, you drop the uh, shell dropper, or whatever you call it, the release all of the, the, the rounds out of the mag right here. It's done right here. So what you do is you rack it and um, smooth action. Just take this finger here and just, just push it up. You drop all the shells out. You drop them all out that way. Um, not that heavy. It's pretty light, pretty lightweight. Um, the finish on it could have been better. It's not uh, exactly quality finish like that, but it's um, damn good, damn good um, black uh, finish. I don't even know what to call it, blue or parkerized. It's not parkerized. I'll tell you that right now. It's pretty. It's a blued finish. Now, um, let's go to the report card on this gun. doing it the best way I could because like I said I'm not I don't have all those high-tech cameras like uh, some people got on YouTube that's not I don't okay um report card on this gun for the Maverick 88 uh, reliability I'll give it a three out of a possible three uh, put about 60 rounds through this gun light loads magnum buckshot triple uh, double up buck uh, Magnum slugs, awesome gun, awesome gun, reliable.
price, I gave it a four out of a possible four. You get a whole lot of gun for two hundred bucks. Sometimes you can find it for one hundred and eighty bucks. It depends on your area. Pretty good gun. And um, by the way, this is the um, sixteen inch barrel. By the way, okay. So um, that that's what it, that's what uh, you get for your rely your reliability and your price. You get a four. Can't get no better than that. The Mossberg 500 is going to cost substantially more in some places, three, four hundred bucks. But two hundred bucks to one hundred and fifty bucks, two hundred bucks, not bad. Not a bad option. Concealability. We're not going to really go too much into that because that's not exactly what this gun's for. So one out of a possible um, three for concealability. Poor concealability. Common sense to tell you that. Um, trigger. I get this a two out of a possible four. Pretty. Um, trigger is not what you would call gritty. This is a one shot stage trigger. You pull it, boom. You know, that's it. I don't really know how much to explain the the, the, the trigger on this gun. Um, what else here? We have the durability of this gun. I give this gun a three out of a possible three. The shots I fired through it, no jams. Perfect. Nothing's rattling. Nothing's loose. Everything's still intact. Not a problem for for such an inexpensive weapon. It's still holding up pretty fine. Only put 70 rounds through it though, but it still hasn't fallen apart. This is a pretty powerful gun. Uh, firepower. I'll give it a three out of a possible um, three. You have five plus one of 12 gauge, two quarter inch um, slugs. Or four plus one inch slug, uh, three and three and a half inch slugs. Decent amount of firepower. Other shotguns hold more, but uh, still in all, that's pretty much good enough. Um, uh, take down. I give it a two out of a three. I'll do that in the next video. Um, pretty okay takedown. You know, I wouldn't call it the easiest, but it's not. You know, you don't really have to do much to take it down. It's not hard. You just have to screw, unscrew a couple of things with the barrel. Not a problem. Uh, t uh, weight. This gun gets a uh, three for weight because as a shotgun, it's pretty lightweight for it to be um, a, a, a shotgun. Not not bad. Even with the the um, the stock on it, not bad. Um, uh, reassembly is a two. Uh, build quality, I gave it a 2 out of a 4. Um, as you can see, um, when it came, sometimes you can see a little bit of, like, towards this area. Wear marks here. But it's a brand new gun. I bought it brand new. Um, I guess from firing it, a few wear marks there. Finish isn't what you would call, um, actually the smoothest, clearest looking finish. This finish is something like similar to the XD's finish, where you know you touch it, you can get a lot of oil marks on it. Unlike the Glock, you know you don't see all of that stuff on your Glock. Um, what else here? Um, yeah, like I said, the rest of the build quality, I gave it a two out of a four. You know, build quality is pretty decent. It's not as uh built like the Mossberg 500, but it's a dead knockoff. If it, if you want to call it a knockoff, you can call it a not a knockoff. You can call it a uh, like a like a, a twin, you know, like a a low budget twin. Put it like that. <laughs> but um, all in all, I'm satisfied with it. I'm gonna get me another shotgun. Um, I'm getting a Remington 870. When I picked that up, man, I fell in love with it. So I'll, I will be having two shotguns in my collection. I will never sell this one. I feel like it's a value. If you don't have 600 bucks for a Mossberg 500 decked out or thousand bucks for a Benelli M4 or anything like that and you don't want a semi-auto shotgun which I was thinking about that too but I don't really know um, those are picky sometimes from what I've been seeing the best semi-auto shotguns seem to be those Saigas but um uh, that's a whole nother story this is a great option if you're on a budget you're budget shopping you're looking for a shotgun, holds decent capacity, uh, reliable, and it's made by Mossberg. You see it there. I don't know if you can get a good view right there. It's made by Mossberg. 
Go out and get you a Maverick 88 12 gauge shotgun. This is Gun Nut. I'll see y'all later. Peace out. There's nothing more to really tell you about it. It is what it is. It's a shotgun. Peace.